Welcome to 40 Days and 40 Nights with Sheena Kantar, designed to help to bring you peace, because that's what I've been given, and I want to help share it with you. So one of the first things I want you to, to think about is when we apportion blame, you know, my kids have been going through their own hell <laughs> at the moment. And I said to them, you know, basically, if you're going through hell, please don't stop. Keep going. <laughs> you don't want to be stopping there. And um, what I noticed about them was just amazing that they're 80% over something because they stopped blaming the outside world. Not once did they say to me, well, it's because of this, this, this or this, that this is why I'm here doing this. Not once did they say that. And it was sudden recognition of that that I realized, oh my goodness, you're literally halfway there, guys. You're literally halfway there or 80% there because when you can take on full responsibility for what's happened to you in your life, it actually takes a lot of weight off. It really does. But then there's the next step that we tend to do is then to blame ourselves. And then we dump all the pressure just on us. So we let go of the bags and then we pick them all up and then we just slap ourselves around with them. So please, 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 over the next 40 days and 40 nights, let's just realize that you've never done anything wrong. It is what it is. Harvest the good and forgive the rest. Now, if that's the only thing that you can do over the next 40 days and 40 nights, pick one thing that I'm saying and practice it and practice it because you may know it here. And then it sort of falls down in layers. You've got to repeat, 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 repeat until you embody, till you completely feel it. <clears throat> So can you really feel that you don't blame anybody else? Can you? Can you really take on that responsibility? Because one of the things I learned was that until I could take 100% responsibility, I couldn't hand it over. I couldn't hand it over. Who am I handing it over to? Well, more about that as we go through. But first of all, first and foremost, take responsibility for everything doesn't matter who's been horrible to you, who's done what to you, who's done anything to you, because you're the one holding it. You're the one feeling it. You're the one in pain. It's not the body that's sick. It's the mind that we've allowed just to run wild like a two-year-old child that's never been disciplined. They turn into a five-year-old and my goodness, what a pain in the neck they are. So first and foremost... You may not believe me. I'm only telling you my journey. I can only speak my truth. But when I speak my truth, I'm hoping that you find yours. Take responsibility for everything. How are you feeling a day? Not that the guy passed me, you know, it cut me up in the car. No, 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 no. Your reaction is everything. They only showed you yourself. You may not like it. That's okay, so you deflect it again. Trust me, I know this. Except I stopped deflecting it and I just took it all on board and blamed and shamed myself. <clears throat> Till I brought myself to my knees. Twice. Except the second time, I didn't quite go as far as my knees. I took it on the chin and I went, right, okay, it is what it is. Harvest the good and forgive the rest. Those are the words from Michael Beckwith, by the way. So can you do that today? And every day, if that's the only thing you're going to practice over the next 40 days and 40 nights, I promise you it is the start of your peace. I absolutely promise you. As Bob Proctor said to me, do everything I say exactly as I say. This is the first step. You know, you may not think that I don't know where you're coming from, but I do. My circumstances may have been different and I have put a smile on my life the whole way through my life. And when I look back at pictures, I can see everything. 
I see the false smile, but I didn't know what else to do. Didn't know what else to do because I knew by being miserable would just drag me into a pit that I didn't want to be in. So, why don't you put a smile on your face today? Go look in the mirror, smile at yourself and go, I love you. This is the start. This is the start. So, take on responsibility. Don't beat yourself up with it. You never did anything wrong. And say you love yourself. End of. <coughs> Excuse me. Gotta go now because I'm gonna cough. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs>